are in the back with more requests, and we've had a slight issue. Yes, the series is back. No, this is an April Fool's, but Windows 10 did an anniversary update, and it fucked my whole sound system up. So this is commentary after the fact. Oh, look at that nice cut. I couldn't even cut out the loading screen. Good job, me. This is fully edited, by the way. I'm just talking over it. But, um, yeah, it's really annoying because I did at least five videos that have me talking where there's no audio of me actually talking for some reason because it because lovely windows 10 disabled my microphone without without telling me after the update i don't have many problems with windows 10 but whenever i do it's very annoying but we're playing catharsis by demon arisen today and hopefully i can give you some sort of idea of what i was thinking as i was playing this very fun map by the way now the trick is to get the gel on that first, obviously, which took me not too long to figure out. I'm trying to remember how I edited it, how I edited this. Wow, I cannot speak. Whatever, I can't cut my voice out and, and chop it up or anything. So if I fuck up, it's just going right in. Because I spent so much time trying to fix that problem until, you know, stupid switch your mic on from the other Windows settings menu. But anyways, so putting that cube on the button turns on the gel which we go back where I'm aiming at right now. I'm probably pondering what to do. You go back and then you suck the gel backwards onto the, the ramp so you can get over there without having the portal. Whenever I feel like walking over there and doing it, you know, it would be nice. There we go, it's about time. Oh look, I even sped that up for you. Isn't that sweet? So now that we have that, we can go over. And I had some trouble figuring out how exactly to get the cube on the other side to work. Because, as you see in the beginning, we have to get the cube all the way over where the door is. And that took me quite a while to figure out. But eventually I did get it. Because it was my first map in a long time. First real map in a long time. Yeah, shake your camera. Yeah, agree with me. Let's see what I do here, actually. Because I don't quite remember. Yeah, I'm discovering that I need to get over there with the cube now. With the gel. But I realize I can't do it with the gel that's placed already down in front of me. So, eventually I realize I have to put the gel right there. But I also have to have the fizzler off at the same time. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm starting to talk myself through it. If only you could hear what I was saying, because I had a lot of fun uh, playing these maps again. So now I'm trying to line up the portal with the gel, thinking it's going to work on that side, which it's not. Spoiler. See, now I realize I can take the cube through onto the other side and set it on the button. Which gets me a little bit of progress, but I do make a mistake coming up where I do an extra step that wasn't even needed. It was pretty pointless. I didn't notice it until I watched it back to edit it. Which I guess would be a perk of me doing the after commentary on these very few videos coming up. Because it also happened for one of the, the tests, expected behavior videos. I don't know how I'm going to handle that one or not. We'll see. But see, now I'm trying to pull the cube through, I'm pretty sure, somehow. And I can't quite get that just yet. Or I'm discovering that I have to pull the cube through because I think... Because I noticed the buttons are lined up in the same line of sight. So if I'm like, okay, maybe if I can put a portal over there at some point... That would help. Trying to remember exactly what I did is not the easiest thing. Okay, now I think I realize what I have to do. Because I'm going to fling over there. I'm going to walk over through this fizzler. I'm going to grab the cube. And I'm going to toss it up there and get it stuck. <laughs> so now I'm just going to casually pick that up off there to avoid that mistake. And we're going to set it back on that button. So I finally placed the portal there. No, to go get the cube. Wait. I think this is where I did the extra step that I didn't have to do. Or was it after this part? No, it had to be... It's very close coming up. I'm sorry if this is shitty commentary. I... Look. It's been very frustrating trying to fix this stuff. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. I'm thinking. You can tell I'm thinking there because I'm not moving. It's starting to come to me. I'm moving around more. Yep. The faster I move, the quicker I'm getting it, I can tell. So now I should be able to pull that through. Which I think was my mistake, because here is where I... I pulled it through this way to kill the cube for some weird reason. I don't know why I did that. When I'm pretty sure I could have just... been in there. <laughs> with the cube. In the first place. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure I didn't need to do that little step. But see, now the perk is I have the blue portal inside this fizzler as that's as the gel is on. So now I can go over and pull some gel through this way to make my little slide capable for me to fling across over right to there at the button, put the cube down, and it's pretty self-explanatory from here on out, which is nice. Now at the time, I didn't realize if there was going to be a white surface where the button is to put the cube. I took a risk and did go over there, but fortunately there is one. I should have realized that because it is Demon's map after all, so that is a normal thing. But you know, it's been so long, I didn't quite remember. Because I shouldn't need... Do I need the extra run up for that? No, because I have to go take it around, put it on the other button, fling across. That's what I had to do. Yeah, so I have to put it on the opposite button there. So eventually you'll see me go through this and then go around my ramp, across, set it on the button on the opposite of the fizzler, run through the portal, fling myself over. I'm taking a long time to figure that out, I know. Perks of, uh, you know, after commentary. I spoiled it for you. I did figure it out. As if it wasn't obvious enough. Here's where I set a button. I run through. And at the time, I'm like, oh shit, is there a portable surface on the other side of this wall through here? I hope there is. Let's take a shot at it. If not, we'll just reset it. And luckily there was. So it's just simple of grabbing the cube, set it on here, then just leaving because I have my little ramp set up right there, which I need to put a portal up above to fling across. Pretty simple. As a, as a map to get back into playing the game, yeah, shake your screen, yeah, you completed a good job. As a map to get back into the game, very well done. I gave that one an 8 at the end, because it's a good map for me to get back into the swing of things. It's very well done, it's not overcomplicated, and it was fun. So with that, I'm done for today with this shitty after commentary. I have to do this one more time, and then we can go back to normal videos. So, till next time.